Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. I'm Brian Moritz. Today I'm going to be walking you around a used 2020 Renegade Verona 36 VSB. So Verona split bath. This is the most popular floor plan in the Verona lineup. So we'll walk around the exterior of it first and then we'll head inside. While we're kind of just panned out and away from it, take note of the 16 foot Gerard awning. Now that has, is a power extend, power retract awning. Uh, there are controls for it right inside of the door. We've also got this night, nice LED light strip in it. I'm gonna turn that on just so you can see it. Maybe, there we go. So, and I'll show you those controls for the awning once we get inside, but beautiful night or light strip down below, just so we're sitting out here at night you definitely can uh, have a, you know, play cards, have a conversation without sitting in the dark. Um, this coach is an ingot full body paint. So that's going to be the black, the white, the gray, very nice kind of neutral colors. Beautiful. Um, this coach for a used 2020, I've had, or I've found very few things um, that I would say are wrong with it. And we haven't even inspected it yet. So at your Transvest, we inspect every used coach before they go out. Up in the front here, Big storage compartment, Magnum 3000 watt hybrid inverter. That's gonna change our 12 volt VDC to 110 volt VAC to make it usable inside of the motorhome. In the wall here, in the side wall, we've got the Samsung 32 inch HD TV, as well as the Jensen system, capable of DVD, Bluetooth, and it has two speakers outside. So if you're sitting outside, you can play some music, listen to the game, whatever you got going on. first of our really big storage compartments. Now this coach is 36 feet, seven inches from tip to tip, overall length. So the, for a 36 foot motorhome, this is just incredible storage. In this compartment, we've also got two 110 volt outlets and a hole down below. So if you needed to plug something in, you can run your extension cord down through the compartment and close this door if you need to leave it plugged in for an extended period of time. Another really, really big storage compartment here. Notice that all the Renegade storage compartments are carpet lined to keep things from sliding around while you're driving down the road. Um, and it also helps with insulation of your storage compartments. In the back, one more really big storage compartment. And then another thing to point out on Renegade Bay doors, you got dual swing hinges, dual slam points, aluminum back door. Um, I'm telling you, these doors close the best in the industry. Nice, clean and crisp. You don't have to slam them. Um, they just close for you, honestly. And then one more really small storage compartment in the back. Now, the cool thing about the Verona 36 VSB is your entire patio side where there are where your only slide out is back here and it's a pretty high slide. This is all your storage. You don't get storage on the passenger side which you'll, or on the driver's side, which you'll see, but all of this is very easily accessible storage. You don't have flip up doors, you have side opening doors. It makes life very easy to access that storage. In the back here, full fiberglass rear cap, LED tail lights, LED marker lights, LED reverse lights. We have a full HD backup camera up there, a full color HD backup camera. It'll come on as soon as you put this coach into reverse. Down below, three inch receiver, 20,000 pound towing capacity. So that receiver that's on there right now, it comes with a two inch as well as a two and five sixteenths inch ball. So you just flip it upside down if you wanted to use a bigger trailer. Right here we've got prep for a uh, stacker trailer camera prep. So if you have a trailer that has a backup camera, we can display those cameras on the dash. And then a seven pin connector. This is connected to the brake controller on the, in the cab. So if you have a trailer that has brakes or just need the lights, that connector's there for you and ready to go. Back in this back compartment, we've got our 50 amp power cord on a reel. So we can actually just wind this down through the floor and then close this door while we're camping. And then once we're done camping and ready to go, just push this button and it just power winds it back up for you. 
That's a 50 amp cord and it's 36 feet long. And then we've also got our auto transfer switch as well as two more 110 volt outlets down in that compartment. In front of that, we've got the Cummins Onan Quiet Diesel 8,000 watt generator. So this is a used coach. Um, this generator has 154 hours on it. That generator will pull its diesel fuel directly from the fuel tank and we'll get to the fuel tank here in just a minute. House water bay. So a couple different things going on in this compartment. One whole house water filter over here on the front side of it. Low point drains, water spigot, your gray and, gray and black tank dump valves, your black tank flush, and then this is just your tank fill valve. Your water hose, you don't have to carry an external water hose because Renegade builds them in. So it's just right here. When you're you pull it out, when you're done camping, push this button and it power retracts and tucks away very nicely back behind there so it's not in your way at all. Also, they do give you that white tube right there. That's just for your gray and black tank sewer hose storage. These next two compartments aren't a whole lot to see, but they are important. Behind this little blanket here, this is gonna be your gray and black tanks. So you're holding tanks. Each one of those is 75 gallons. Um, so they put the little blanket here, little extra insulation. You also have heat pads, the 12 volt heat pads that you can turn on to keep those uh, for freezing up in winter camping. And I'll show you where to turn those on once we get inside. Down here in this compartment, we've got the AquaHot 250D. That's gonna be your heat and hot water source. We can run this off of either diesel fuel or electricity, depending on what we have available. Also in this compartment are just all the things this coach came with new. We've got the water filter wrench, the little slinky hose for that spigot in the water bay, and then the air hose in case you ever needed to fill up some tires while you're uh, out camping. You can actually use the Freightliner onboard compressor from this coach to fill up your tires. Now to do that, you're gonna come in the very front bay here and on the very front side of it, we've got just a quick connect. And you just plug the hose in right there. That hose will reach all the tires on this coach. And then also in this bay, we've got the two chassis batteries just used for starting the engine. And then the three Group 27 AGM six volt house batteries. Those are gonna be the ones that are gonna control your lights, uh, your microwave, your inverter, all that stuff. That's gonna be on those Group 27 AGM house batteries. Coming up into the cab area, um, one important thing in my opinion is you've got 100 gallons of diesel fuel. Now you can fill this diesel fuel from both sides. Um, it's got saddle tanks, so you can fill it from either side, 50 on the left, 50 on the right. There is a transfer line in between those two tanks, but it takes a lot longer than just filling it both sides and uh, with two nozzles. So pull into the truck stop, go give them your credit card. They'll turn on both pumps, put them in. It literally takes probably five minutes to go from empty to full. Gonna... So this entire motorhome is built on a Freightliner M2 106 chassis. Uh, it's, this is probably one of the most widely used chassis in the world right now. They put them on dump trucks, they put them on tow trucks, moving trucks. Uh, so very, very common chassis. Now, when Renegade orders them, they spec them out with a Cummins ISL 8.9 liter, which will produce 350 horsepower, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Um, so that's gonna be what gives you that 20,000 pound towing capacity, gives you enough power to drive over the hills comfortably. Uh, I've driven these through the mountains dozens of times and they have more power than you could ever need. Um, so some of the benefits of Super C that people like to talk about is first we actually have some frame rail up here so if you were ever in a front end collision you drove it into a wall anything um, the super c does give you quite a bit of structure a little bracing there just as a safety feature um, and that's just what comes with big trucks now the other thing is is maintenance is a lot easier uh, you could take this coach to any freightliner shop they'll be able to take care of what they need to if you need to check your oil your dipsticks right here 
It's easy to access. Fuel water separator there. Power steering fluid right here. Everything is very easy to access. For those of you who have Class A's or have had Class A's, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about when I say that this is really, really easy to work on. And then one of my favorite features of the M2106 is they put a dual gas prop on the hood so you don't have to worry about slamming it, hurting yourself or someone else. And then just two latches or one latch on either side. Up on the front of this hood, we do have the side bullet cameras. So what those do is if I were to turn on my left blinker, this camera would illuminate and it would eliminate all blind spots showing me what it sees on the screen in the cab. Coming around the front, uh, not a lot to see, but you got some fog lights down below. You have LED headlights. Uh, the paint job on this coach is incredible. It's kind of hard to tell, but your hood's actually a little bit different color than your fender, and it really does play off very nicely together. Oh, and I think that's going to walk or finish up the outside. We'll head inside and take a look at what we got going on in here. So right as we come in the door uh, over here on our left side, we've got a coach battery disconnect switch. That's just going to kill the battery power or put, when we're putting it into storage for extended periods of time to keep those batteries from dying. Entry step override. So you saw that step open when I opened the door. We could actually lock that out and then it would just open and close only when the ignition was on. And then your emergency start in case your battery ever died, it acts as a battery boost switch. One really important feature that I think Renegade does well is up here right above the entry steps as well. We've got one control panel. So the cool thing about this is it's right here next to the entry door. So from right here, I can turn all of my ceiling lights on and off. Um, that is just huge so I don't have to walk in here fumbling looking for um, light switches and then right here is also where we're going to control the awning lights the porch lights and the exterior light or all the exterior lights and we can also extend and retract the awning from there and that'll be the first place that we'll do it so right now we'll just go through the cab and then we'll go through the, the actual motorhome here so the Freightliner M2106 does come with air ride seats so there's just a button over here on my left side I can lift this seat up and down make it as firm or as soft as I want it to be while I'm driving down the road. Over here on this left side, just your standard cruise control stuff, master switch, set, coast, resume, accelerate, your headlights as well as marker lights or just running lights. And then down below we've got one more switch that's going to be for the intensity of the dash. Here in the middle, very easy to see, nice big gauges. This coach does have 10,531 miles on it as a used 2020. Oil pressure gauge, water temperature, RPMs, miles per hour, primary air tank, secondary air tank, and then your fuel level and diesel exhaust fluid level. Uh, but it's nice because the gauges are very big, easy to see. Over here, we've got the switch to lock in our rear differential to make those rear uh, rear tires all spin the same speed. The only time you would ever need to do that is if you were in a slippery snowy situation or maybe really, really sloppy mud possibly. Right here we've got the touchpad for our Allison 3000 TRV transmission. That's just going to be a six speed automatic. All you have to do, put your foot on the brake, hit the D and it'll go into drive. Right now it's not going to because I don't actually have it running. Power windows for both deep passenger and driver side. Mirror heat for those cold and foggy days to keep you from fogging up. Power locks for the cab. This does not go back into the motorhome. This is just for the cab. Uh, parking brake release. Engine brake, you have a two stage high or low. I always ride them high, ride them in high. It's just my preference. Regen switch. This is the switch to choose which camera we're gonna look at. So you remember I was talking about how this is prepped for a backup camera if you're towing a trailer. Well, if I push that button, it'll go to the trailer's backup camera and display it right here on this screen for me. TPMS, tire pressure monitoring system, right there. If you have a problem, there's actually an LED indicator on it that'll start blinking at you. Auxiliary in port for the radio as well as a USB. And then two 12 volt cigarette style lighters. And then your standard HVAC controls. So here in the middle, this is gonna be our Garmin 
uh, head unit. So going back to cameras, if I turn on my blinker, so this is that left side camera that I was talking about. So you see how I'm looking directly down the side of this motorhome. So if I was on the interstate doing 70 miles an hour and I just wanted to look, I can turn on my blinker and see that there's nothing there. It eliminates all the blind spots that mirrors do have. And it's also a little bit wider than what you see with mirrors. Same thing on the right. Now, it'll go home in just a second here. We also have built-in navigation system. Now, on this navigation system, we can set the param parameters of this motorhome, saying it's 36 feet long, uh, 12 feet, 6 inches tall, and then it won't take us down roads that we can't make it down or that it, we are overweight for. You'll set the weight of it as well. So that's pretty much going to wrap up the cab. Very simple on Freightliner M2106s. Um, right here up above the cab, this is going to be our AV compartment. This coach does have a Weingart RTT20B, which is a in-motion satellite. It's a uh, in-motion satellite that can be set up for either DirecTV, Dish Network, or Bell, just depending on what you use. There's five dip, sw dip switches up top there. Really, really easy to change it from the provider through the to different providers. Sorry. In this compartment, we've got the equalizer system. So that is hydraulic leveling. All we have to do, power, auto level, you'll hear the hydraulic pump on, come on, it'll drop it down, the jacks down and level the coach. Magnum inverter panel, that's how we're gonna turn on that 3000 watt inverter. It also is gonna tell us our battery level and our charge rate. Light switch and then cradle point for your Wi-Fi needs. Now that was installed by the previous owner that did not come factory from Renegade. It was actually installed by TransWest. Uh, for the previous owner. So up in this compartment, just a big storage as well as two 110 volt outlets. I'd probably put all my driving snacks in that one, gummy worms and whatnot. So coming back right now, this coach is all closed up. I don't have any of the slides open just so we can see how much room we have available. Uh, as you can tell, plenty of room to walk through here. This is a mid bath model, but I can walk right into the bathroom, no problem whatsoever access to the refrigerator. I actually can stand here and move around while I'm in the refrigerator as well as the freezer. So Renegade does a great job with making these units very accessible while driving down the road. Now we'll go ahead and open these slides up. So this panel that I'm on right here, this is our Firefly panel. We'll go over it in a little bit, but basically this is your entire coach control right here dead center in the middle of the coach so it's easily accessible from anywhere you are yeah I have them ready for a question so what we would have to do Okay, so the question is, if the fridge were to fail, would it fit out the door? So what we would have to do is take the doors off of the refrigerator. Uh, for just damage control, you know, just a little extra safety, we would probably take the door off of the motorhome as well. And then we'd just turn it sideways and pull it on out. It would probably be a three-man job if I had to guess. Um, but pull it, or turn it sideways, kind of lay it down, and it would go right out of that door. Um, so I'll get actual measurements of it and post it up for you though. Oop. All right, so now we got this rear slide going out. Um, I mentioned a couple times that this coach is used. The previous owner did add 500 watts of solar to the roof. So if you're the boondocking type, she, uh, she set you up very, very nicely to be able to stay extended period of time off grid especially with the residential refrigerator which is running off the inverter um, so 500 watts of solar that's going to recharge your batteries which gives you the ability to run your inverter which will in turn run the fridge so all right so right here next to the entry door we've got the 43 inch samsung hd tv on a pivot arm this is a really nice extending arm we can move this thing to be kind of wherever we want it to be um, just depending on what position we are in the coach and then up above here, really nice cabinet space, pots, pans, um, whatever you need, really good cabinet space up above the counter. 
and then another really big one here um, I'd probably put cups and glasses and stuff in that one just to keep everything kind of condensed down below high point convection microwave so doubles as an oven as well as the microwave up top here huge really really deep storage so me personally I'd probably put the stuff that I'm not going to use too often on there but if it gets all the way to the back even I'm going to need a step stool at six feet tall uh, one thing I want to point out up here for winterization purposes the valve for the refrigerator the ice maker in this refrigerator is right up in the top of that cabinet so um, you could a either just shut off the ice maker altogether if you're not the type to use ice in the RV or B you just know it's there when you need to winterize right here we've got the 19 cubic foot Samsung residential refrigerator so this coach is all electric there is no propane so the only way this refrigerator will run is off 110 volt power so you will either have to have your inverter running your generator on or your uh, or plugged into shore power for this refrigerator to run um, the alternator on the engine will keep up with the refrigerator and inverter while you're driving down the road no problem at all and you have two little locks here really simple mechanical locks just so things don't go sliding around while you're driving right here this is going to be our pantry space so i really like how renegade did this um, so you got three shelves here you could add more if you wanted to they are adjustable up and down and then down below drawers and they are soft closing and they just get bigger as you go down so plenty of space for food snacks whatever you need in the kitchen coming back over to the driver's side you have the couch here now this couch is since this renegade is a 2020 which was before they put in bunk models um, this coach will sleep six people essentially so two of them will sleep here this is the renegade slide bed so just take those uh, cushions off that you saw me take off find this little cord once you pull up pops up two legs will just fold down slide it and drop it down and then you've got hinges on the very back side of your couch to drop that down make pretty much a queen bed again I'm six feet tall so it uh, fits me just fine now underneath this couch we do have three seat belts so three people could sit there legally while traveling down the road and then putting it away is as easy as that uh, put your cushions back on and you're ready to sit on it again now this dinette will also make into a bed a little bit smaller definitely kind of a grandkid bed but it gives you a little bit of flexibility so and this dinette is very big so four people could pretty easily sit here um, to play cards to eat dinner run or brunch up above on the driver's side the 36 VSB does have cabinets all the way down the main slide so in here right now you'll see the manuals from when this coach was new the previous owner did a great job at keeping those all together and leaving them in here so that you have access to them when you purchase this coach a total of eight cabinets nice and deep so one thing I love about Renegade is when you open these cabinets or you just kind of play with these cabinets you don't get any shake out of them um, they feel solid they feel like they are a quality cabinet and then these doors they just feel like a good piece of lumber was used to actually build them close nicely you don't have to slam them they don't slam for you um, just very very nice cabinets all the way around this coach I realize that I kind of am going to jump around here a little bit but I completely forgot to show the counter space um, really nice big counter here solid surface covers on each one of your appliances so your sink and your induction cooktop single bowl undermount sink and then underneath these two we've got the two burner true induction cooktop 
So the only thing about true induction cooktops is you do have to have a magnetic pan. But what's really cool about induction cooktops is they don't get hot. They'll get warm, but you can still touch them. They aren't going to burn you. Down below the counter. Now this is a little interesting. We've got all of our circuit breakers and fuses for this entire coach right here inside in the kitchen. I don't have to go outside on a cold rainy night and try and search for circuit breakers. They're all right here. This one's gonna be our actual 12 volt fuses. That cover's a little harder to take off, really easy with like a key, but. And then three drawers underneath the counter for your silverware, dish towels, that kind of thing. And they are all quiet closed. And then really, really big storage underneath the, cat, the sink. <coughs> Excuse me. Renegade did an awesome job by actually giving you a cutout for a trash can right here. Uh, a lot of RV manufacturers forget that people need trash cans. Renegade made it very, very, very easy for us. And that's going to bring us back into the split bathroom area of this 2020 Renegade Verona 36 VSB. So right here, as we enter the hallway, it's a little hard with two grown men, but we have our Splendid stacked washer and dryer. So uh, one good thing about how Renegade does this is there is room to work right here. You know, you're not fighting walls and toilets and everything to try and get your clothes in the washer or the dryer. So in the Verona split bath over on the driver's side, this is going to be where our sink and our medicine cabinet are. So really, really big medicine cabinet up here. Plenty of room for two or, th or three or four people worth of toiletries, toothpick brushes, stuff like that. Little vanity mirror with vanity lights up on the top. Solid surface, undermount sink. Another big cabinet down below. And then one more long drawer in the bathroom. Got another question. Okay, the question was, do we sell any RVs 30 feet and under? We do. Um, we have, we've actually cut a couple of good used ones right now. Um, if you can, give me a call after I'm done with my video, 303-482-6375, and I will get you a list of RVs that we have that are below 30 feet. So, all right, so going back to this Renegade Verona 36 VSB, um, I didn't miss it right here, but we do have a pocket door built in to divide the bathroom from the front half of the coach. It does have a little lock right here, so it's not going to slide, or so it does actually lock for whoever's using it. Here in the middle, we've got the 36 inch radius shower. So nice big shower, plenty of room to get in here and do what you need to do. You do have a removable wand so you can turn or you can uh, pull that off and spray yourself as needed. Safety latch back on the back side of this door, but another pocket door to cut off the toilet and the shower from the rest of the coach. That's the benefit of a split bath. You could have someone in here showering, someone brushing their teeth at the same time. In the bathroom, great storage up top here. Maybe keep some toilet paper, toilet chemical, that kind of thing up top. And then down below, the electric flush macerating toilet. So just a push button right there. It actually grinds everything up and sucks it down into the tank just to make tank emptying a little bit easier. Which is going to bring us back into the back bedroom. So um, before we get too much farther into this, when I got into this coach, it was 89 degrees. I have it at about 71 degrees right now. Um, so the bedroom area is very... In RVs, a lot of the times they don't put air conditionings in the bedrooms correctly. But on the Renegades, we've got it right here in the bedroom. Now it's on, it's running, uh, it's not loud. I don't feel like I have to shout to be able to hear over it um, or have a conversation over it. Renegade is awesome, or Coleman is awesome and gives you these two dump valves. So if you just got in it and it was 100 degrees, you can open these dump valves up and it's just gonna dump air, cold air into whatever space the air conditioning is in. But this coach is equipped with two 15,000 BTU uh, air conditionings and they also have heat pumps in there as well so they'll actually provide heat in the winter months as well coming into the bedroom we've got a big hanging wardrobe so this is a full pass-through 
if we pull this cover out. If you're carrying long dresses, things like that, we can actually pull this out and let it hang all the way to the floor. If you're not, then you got two big hanging wardrobes right here. So down below this other solid surface countertop, another AV compartment. If we're gonna use uh, our satellite on the roof, this is where we'll put our receiver. The solid surface countertop right here is nice. Phone, wallet, keys, cell phone, whatever you got, just throw it right there before you go to bed. Big cabinet, doubles as wardrobe. Two big drawers, dresser drawers. And then four more over here. Notice that everything is still quiet close. Nothing feels cheap, there's nothing shaking here. And then, last but not least, one more really big hanging wardrobe up top. Now in this bedroom, we do have another Samsung 32 inch HD TV. Now we also have three windows in the bedroom, which is really nice for natural light. Now every window in this, well, let's go to this first. This is the emergency exit. So if you were ever trapped in here for some reason and needed to get out, pull up on that handle, just push out on it and it'll actually pop all the way out and then you can climb out that window. Um, so every window in this motorhome does have a dual shade. So you have first your day shade, that's gonna let in some light, but kind of block you know, the glare of the sun. And then the night shade, this is gonna be your blackout total privacy shade. That's when you're in here at night, you know, you're trying to get ready for bed, you don't want people to see in the motorhome. Well, you got a nice privacy shade here. And then on either side of the bed, you also have two smaller windows. Now these are opening windows, so you can create a nice cross breeze from one side to the other when the slide is out and the windows are open. Also on each side of the bed, we have one 110 volt outlet as well as two 12 volt USBs. So plenty of power, charge your phone, uh, whatever you need. Cabinets up above the bed just act as extra wardrobe space. And then up underneath the cabinets, we've got just general coach controls. So on that one, we can do things like start and stop the generator so we don't have to go to the front of coach to do it. Uh, turn on all your lights, turn off your bedroom lights. You can control quite a bit from there just for a convenience factor. So the previous owner of this coach did upgrade this mattress. This is a really, really nice high-end pillow top mattress. Underneath the bed in Renegade Verona's are going to be our fresh water tanks. So these are two 75 gallon tanks equaling 150 gallons of fresh water total. Um, and then the gray and black tanks are the 75 and 75 gray and black. Now also under this panel, we have our water pump. So that's really nice, it's easy to access. If you ever need to change it out, you'll appreciate that it's not in a cabinet that's in a six by six space underneath the sink. I do really, really like that feature of the Renegades. Okay, so I think that, I mean, I think that pretty much covers everything on the interior of the Renegade. Um, we're gonna talk about the Firefly panel just for a few minutes. So this Firefly panel is something that's kind of been around for a while, but I really like to show it. So first of all, it's dead center of this Renegade, so it's easy to access from any part of it. We can do everything we need to do on this coach from here. So light master off, light master on. If I want to control lights individually, pull up this screen, and now I can do living room lights, slide out lights, overheads, uh, whatever light I need to control, I can do it right here. And then we also can see our fresh gray and black water tank level. Turn on our tank heater pads, that's those 12 volts on the gray and black tanks. Water pump on, aqua hot on, diesel or electric, depending on what power source you have available. We can see if our generator, or we can start and stop our generator. And we also have a meter there showing that this generator now has 154.4 hours. AGS system. Uh, so I'm gonna hold this for three seconds and actually enable it. This AGS system is really, really cool. So essentially, right here, I'm looking at the AGS setup screen. What this does is if you were to leave the coach and go mountain biking, horseback riding, whatever you were doing the day, and it was not plugged in or it lost power for some reason, once your batteries hit a certain level, it would actually fire up this generator and let it run for a little bit to keep your batteries from dying. This is very important with a residential refrigerator just because the, once you lose battery power, your inverter shuts off and your refrigerator shuts off. So this is very important with that residential refrigerator. It's very easy to set, pretty much set your quiet times if you're in a campground. 
uh, what voltage you wanted to start at, what voltage you wanted to shut off at, and how long you wanted to run. And then it's just an extra insurance for yourself. Going back to the home screen, we can look at our uh, the temperatures in here. Like I said, when I got in here, it was 89 degrees. Um, now it's 66 in the front and 70 in the rear. Control the fan. So we've got two fans in here, one in the bathroom. one They're both in the bathroom technically, but one over the toilet and one in the vanity area. We can turn them on and off from here. Control our slide outs and awnings right here in the center of the coach as well. And then just the settings page, you can download the mobile app and then you will be able to do almost everything that you can do from here on the app from your cell phone. And then there's also a couple other pages as a diagnostics page uh, that you could go to if you're uh, a little handy and can read what it has to say. So, and I think that's gonna wrap up my walkthrough of this beautiful 2020 Renegade Verona 36 VSB. A uh, very nice coach. I haven't seen anything on it that I would call alarming at this point. So if you have any questions about this Renegade, feel free to give me a call at 303-482-6375. Again, I'm Brian Morris with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Thank you guys so much for watching this one.